rapture. Mm -hmm. Because when, you know, a billion believers in the world instantly disappear, there has to be an explanation for it. Right. What's going to be the explanation to you? Well, I'm convinced this is what it is, and not just from my own research, my own personal opinion, uh, but from the actual channeled right. demonic communication, that's exactly what they're saying. So that's, that's what they're saying. The demons are saying... Yeah, they're saying two things. We're the reason why the people disappeared, and those that are left behind, it's a good thing. You're a chosen one. This is the age of utopia. So they lie about the rapture, and they lie about being left behind, that you just entered the worst time in the history of mankind, the seven-year tribulation, which, by the way, is calling Jesus a liar, which I don't recommend. Yeah. Uh, but but they, they mentioned that. In fact, I remember when I, I the rapture back when I was a young Christian, I'm going, whoa, whoa. And, and I, I traced back down some New Age resources that I had that had come from channel messages, and, uh, and several of them, and I still have them in my office, uh, just for reference sake. And uh, But one of them, one of the most profound, easy ones, and we, we get many different examples of this, but these are one lady's, her name, a new ager, Barbara Marciniak. And in her book called Bringers of the Dawn, uh, she's a new ager who has, quote, channeled the space brothers from the star system around the Pleiades. It's all de demons, but that's what they say. They're, they're aliens, right? And and she records in her book all these basically new age messages with utopia. Mother Earth's going to cleanse herself, and we're going to, you know, we all. But it, and I, I give a direct quote, and then right there, in all, amidst of all that, they here's what the aliens told her that we need to know. Do not be surprised uh, when you see in one afternoon, perhaps as many as 20 million people disappearing from the planet all at once. And then they go into, this is Mother Earth. And then they said, there will be a great shift in consciousness when this event occurs. Yeah, you bet you there will be, right? Uh, but but over and over again, another uh, New Ager says, says, and just flat out simply says, that uh, when you see the disappearance of people, they call it the great evacuation, right? And, that, <laughs> and, and they even pepper it with biblical terms. It, it'll be like lightning flashes from the sky, just <laughs> instantaneously, in a twinkling of an eye. Right, and they say these people listen because you need again the live evolution to fall for this, not just aliens, but the spiritual evolution lie. And they say these people that disappeared, we beam them up in our spaceships because they hadn't spiritually evolved there you go. high enough, <laughs> like those of you who are still on the earth. Yeah, there you go. Right, and but they're okay, so don't freak out because it, we kind of got them in a rehabilitation center orbiting the planet and we'll beam them back down and they're able to handle this new spiritual utopia.
the fuck is that? I wish you could see me. Hey, look at that. Oh. It's a faker. El sol nomás en esa rueda. Cosa increíble, pero si sí, ya falta una rueda. ¿Quién te grabamos también? Pues, ah, sí, por lo menos yo que lo que estamos haciendo. zoom in. Oh yeah, I can. Can you see those? If those are UFOs. Oh man. Can you see them?
by those solar panels. It was like hovering above. You know what? Hold on. Oh, shit. Rapaz, o que, que é isso? Aqui na cidade de São Paulo, o que, que é isso, cara? Será que é drone? Gente, o que, que é isso? Tem barulho
75 and this is over the sky right now 
what the hell is this? They were flickering lights and there's a bunch of people pulled over on 75. What the fuck? They're changing colors? Yeah, but what is it?
this is definitely going to be on the news. Yeah. yeah, now it's dissipating. It's going away. Yeah, but they're but they're. Uh, the meteors? Jody said she thinks they're meteors. Those are not meteors. Those are not meteors. No, they're not. Jody, those are not meteors. Those are not meteors. They Check work closer. Out. They're leaving. Where? They're like right over there. Oh. No, they work closer. Now they're farther away. There's like tons of them. Jody. What? In the end, end times, there will be signs in the heavens. I'm on Christian TikTok. I think I know what they are. I think the they're angels. Are in the next two years. Yeah. I th wait, I know what they are. I know what they are. They're gone. They, they're, well, they're still, still there. there. They're still there. But they're farther away. Judy, you're scared. It's okay, baby. Don't yeah. worry, it's angels. What is that? It's angels. That is, no, those aren't meteors, though. Yeah, those aren't meteors. Meteors seem much faster. I don't know what they're about, Bubba. They're starting to go away I now. And seeing this, this happened. I'm sorry. What is that? There's a passenger on the plane, huh? looks out the window, grabs the phone. This was filmed in June. The traveler sees that, an object apparently changing shapes in what? seconds. What? Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> is it a shape-shifting object? Is it Bezos? Is it Branson? What is it? Is it a UFO? Mel, go for it. I, what do you see? I yeah. have no... Okay, I'm looking at this for the first time. I want it to be surprised. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. What was that? that? No way! Okay. Oh, that's crazy. So... No, man. Ooh, I don't... That could be anything. Honestly, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't know what... And could this be a UFO? It looks like it's moving with the cloud. Come oh, on, do you see this? That's crazy. The internet is buzzing this morning over this bizarre video shot near a military base in Dayton, Ohio. that appears to show an object hovering and disappearing into the clouds. Here's another sighting of a similar object, also allegedly seen in the skies over Dayton, believed to be the same UFO. Well, Lisa, what do you think well, about this? I think you have an opinion. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base there, long believed to be housing all sorts of military craft. There have been a number of military members that have gone on the record about what they're housing at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. The truth is out there. I'm on it.
We had ghost hunters, now UFOs. That's right, and there is a Las Vegas guy making an extraordinary claim about extraterrestrials. So we sent Action News reporter Mike Delestrito to check it out. Mike? All right, guys, just listen up here. This guy says the Old Testament, written in Hebrew, taught him how to summon UFOs. All right, he says he can also do this on command, and he adds he's been doing it for 25 years, keeping all of it secret until now. These beings are here. They are here. They're just sitting right up there. We met up with Prophet Yahweh, seer of Yahweh at Doolittle Park off Lake Mead. We picked the day, we picked the time, and we picked the location. Everyone's going to think you're absolutely nuts. Well, I thought I was absolutely nuts. Until he says he saw UFOs. Over the years, 1,500 of them. Can we make it uh, 1,501 today? What do you think? I'll try it. He says the voice in his head told him to go public now. So we took him up on his offer, and we scanned the skies. Nothing but a few clouds. When the prophet started praying for a sighting, I wasn't exactly convinced. I pray, oh Yahweh, that you sent a sighting so that they know that I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet like those who seek to kill me say I am. I see something straight up. Oh, brother, look at it. There it is. You can barely see it, a white speck. Then another sighting. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Photojournalist Jonathan Hawkins locks in on it. Let's take a closer look here. It's an orange sphere that appeared out of nowhere. I call the boss with an unexpected change in my story. I'm I could see it clear as day. In fact, it's bright. I can't believe this. It's, it's moving pretty fast. It's going to Nellis Air Force Base. It wants to be seen. We called Nellis to see what these things might be. Guess what? They didn't call us back. But this thing started coming back toward us. It's yeah. coming toward us now, I think. What? See, it's coming up toward us. Whoa, man! Oh, hallelujah! Then, a few seconds later, it disappeared. It's going back up in space. Prophet Yahweh isn't concerned. He says it'll be back. And Leo and UFO attacks on Russian tanks, if only. Yeah, so this is the Daily Star uh, trying to bring a, a light-hearted spin uh, to what's a, an awful crisis. But uh, basically, say a, a group of Russian tanks were supposedly wiped out by a mystery UFO attack after the families of trapped Ukrainian soldiers prayed to God to offer their troops some help. So, uh, yeah, it's, it is bizarre. Um, and